keeping up with the beat with his right arm. Fellow Vegas magician Lance Burton also provided a little entertainment for Roy and the crowd, but Roy's recovery was the big miracle on display. Backstage as he eagerly greeted friends, Roy was celebrating not just another birthday, but an entire life that lies ahead. There you go. It was like paint. Uh oh. Who is it? Today, BT birthday is a rock to you by Crown Royal Crown. Which clueless star made their tears? Is it Alicia Silverstone, Paul Rudd, or Brittany Murphy? Your answer Hello. is next in the ET birthdays. Who? Who? Hello? Can I help you? I don't know who that was, but I know they aggravate me. Whoever just called him, I've been Melissa. Here you go. <laughs> you want this or not? See, I'm gonna have that thing out tonight. All right, let's both things off. Is it good? Huh? Is it good? Is it like a cheeseburger? Is it like a cheeseburger? Huh? What is it, pumpkin? Carrots. Where's Becky at? Uh, she's over visiting somebody. She has kids all day. He's staring at him. He's gonna feed you. He's just browsing, browsing through here. Concerned if Governor Karen does not have his own house in order, then how can he point his finger at someone else? I'm gonna say, wait a minute. You're acting some kind of pension plans when the teacher retirement and other government employees' retirement programs are in a shambles. Governor Karen talked about uh, mentioned out caring about retirees. I see what the state is doing. I think you can do this yourself. You want the spoon? And I want you want the spoon? Here. Us. See if you can do it. Accommodations you get it all? by Hilton Hotels and Resorts. From a quick weekend mm -hmm. getaway to the vacation of a lifetime. You it like it? At the Hilton. Today's ET birthdays are brought to you by Crest. Is it good? Susan Sarandon is 58. Charlton Heston turns 80. And Here, Rich don't make no mess. Let me have it. On the Wonder Year. That's Alicia Silverstone. Enough of that. Today turns 28. I'd be enough of that. Probably one of the great pictures of history with his son Tim, just as big a star in the music world. Oh yes, and married to Faith Hill, no less. But tomorrow on ET, Tim reveals that he didn't even know his dad until he was 11. We'll tell you about that to you tomorrow. Do you know Janet Lee? Janet Lee in the original Psycho. Did you know that her daughter is is uh, Jamie Lee Curtis? Huh? Did you know that? Me neither. So today, her mom died. Janet Lee died today. That was a scary show, boy. Black and white. <laughs> And today, today, Landon, to the recording is, today the first independent guy went up in space. He got a $10 million reward. Today is the second time he's went up. It's actually the third time, but the second time he went up for the two times in one week. 63, was 70 miles high. The final days of freedom for Martha Stewart. How she's spending her last days before going to jail on the beach. To put Martha Stewart in jail today, which is a bunch of bull, as our government at work. In other words, they got her for perjuring herself about something that she didn't do wrong. So she's going to jail for lying to the government, but they didn't convict her of doing anything wrong with the stop. So, you know, you got to be real careful out there. If you can, you ought to be a lawyer. 
all your relatives and everything, you know you have plenty of business, you know. You got a lot of cousins and a lot of uncles and a lot of grandparents that can use your assistance, okay? Have you explained to who children the time you get in college, I guess your mom would be on in the strip club, you know, if they're still around. I know, I know. You can't play there, though. It's, it's a big money, you know. If you don't play, you got to go somewhere else, play somebody else's club. But I was saying, you can't shit where you eat, you know. You can't shit where you eat. Amy Poehler, that makes it the first all-female team in the show's history. April Woodard takes a look at the season premiere. Saturday Night Live's 30th season kicked off with what many believe the show does best, political humor. With some new faces playing the candidates for SNL's version of the presidential debate. I have consistently supported the war in front of pro-war audiences and condemned it when speaking to groups that have Face, buddy. What are you going to do when we run out? It's almost empty. Then what are we going to do? We're going to slow starter. He didn't like these characters much at first. 30 minutes later, you can't get enough of that love you stuff. Jimmy Fallon showed up for the premiere Sunday night in a souped-up yellow cab driven by his co-star, Queen Latifah. Right now, I'm nervous and excited. Hope you enjoy the movie. Supermodel Giselle Bündchen makes her big screen debut in the comedy, which opens nationwide this Friday. By Friday this week, Here. Martha Stewart will be sleeping in a federal prison bed, but before she begins serving her five-month sentence, she seems to be getting a final taste of the luxury she'll be leaving behind. Oh boy, has more. It's all gone. There's not any more in there. It's all gone. She spent time here at the exclusive one and only Oakley Club on the island. She had the beach all to herself for a 40 minute early morning walk and ocean swim Sunday. Wearing a simple black one piece bathing suit, the 63 year old domestic diva watched a spectacular sunrise, then walked wistfully away. Martha was on the island to attend the wedding of her publicist. Another friend, celebrity hairdresser, Gregor Fakai, was with her. Martha went down very happy for someone else. You know, Martha obviously is a little nervous. I mean, who wouldn't be? She's going to jail. The one and only club is a spectacular 106-room resort where suites cost up to $2,000 a night and villas over $5,000. According to this promotional video, these terrace gardens are modeled Ooh. after the gardens of the Palace of Versailles near Paris. This romantic bar among the dunes and this first-class restaurant where Martha dines are a far cry from the cuisine she'll sample behind bars. It was a splash of beachfront luxury before going up the river. She did her best to contribute to the fun and the frivolity, but deep down, you know, Martha's nervous. I mean, it's not easy going to jail. Martha mm -hmm. must report for her five-month federal prison term by Friday. There you go. Martha Stewart also reportedly spent some time at the casino on the Bahamas. We're told she won $200. <laughs> That's 
Janet Lee delivering the most There's Janet Lee I was telling you about. The history of cinema from Alfred Hitchcock's classic thriller Psycho. There you go. Over now. There you go. That's it. It's all gone. It's empty. There's no more. By her daughter Jamie Lee Curtis. Diane McInerney reports on the okay. life of a Hollywood legend. No more. Jamie Lee Curtis at her mother's side, the way she was in the final moments. Psycho star Janet Lee died at her Beverly Hills home Sunday. Jamie Lee and her sister Kelly Curtis were both with their 77-year-old mom, who appeared in more than 60 movies. If I could be material. Now what you want to do? This is Janet and Jamie. Now what you want to do for fun? Halloween H2 Pinch a jaw. Scratch an arm. Take a dump. And the Orson Welles picture. I hear you. But she'll always be remembered the latter. for that shower scene in the Alfred Hitchcock classic. Psycho. I had to wake you up. Lee, it's been up an hour and a half ago. Paid tribute to Hitchcock okay. When we her about I had to wake you up. He knew every single camera shot from us. But Lee pointed sorry, out there wasn't him? really that much gore in the Has movie. No, uh, he didn't want, graphically it. see something. He, uh, you must have the wrong numbers. He titillated right. you oh. into thinking that you did. That's a second nut in a row. You know, the second nut in a row. Janet Lee won the Golden Globe and was nominated for an Oscar for her performance in Psycho. One year after he was nearly killed when rolled by his tiger and his hey, death low, huh? for entertainer Roy Horn. I think I'm going to go get your daddy. his 60th birthday, he has walked. Miss Stacey Galante reports no steps in months mom. of excruciating therapy. You know? <laughs> I don't get any hazardous duty pay here. And I don't think we got any baby wipes. Out of his wheelchair and walked 10 feet at his big 60th birthday bash in Las Vegas. Happy birthday! Roy's birthday began with a phone call from California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and First Lady Maria Schreiber. <coughs> Last month, as part of her NBC special, Maria aired footage of Roy getting out of his wheelchair yeah. for the first time. This is phenomenal, Roy. Now Roy is taking more of his first steps in Again, with Big Reed Fishbacher by his side, and eight of their closest friends jammed the garage. Can we take a grade and cut it up for you? Happy birthday. Huh? The party was quite different from Roy's 59th birthday party last that. year when he was spotted dancing the huh? night away. But the very next day, one of Roy's white tigers mauled him as he was performing before one of his sold-out shows. Despite Roy's health problems this year, it was still a celebration as he was presented with a cake featuring white tiger decorations. Roy's left hand is clenched shut, but he was still able to cut a slice. Then, in true Vegas style, came an unforgettable finale as Roy got up one last time to wave goodbye and salute his friends. And if you're wondering what happened to Montecor, the tiger that attacked Roy Horn, the animal still lives at Siegfried and Roy's secret garden at the Mirage Hotel, but Montecor is segregated away from the public. On the face of it, a blimp seems like a throwback to a much earlier and simpler pun, but it may be just the latest tool in the fight against terror. The Army is now experimenting with blimps as part of Homeland Security. Mm. Kim Dean had extraordinary access to the airship as it patrolled over Washington, D.C. I'm about to take you up in what may prove to be a valuable tool in America's war on terror. It's something you've seen a million times before, hovering high in the sky. You call it a blimp, or an airship. But now it's being developed for a new function. The airship is being tested in the skies over Washington, D.C. It's equipped with state-of-the-art surveillance cameras that day or night can see a threat miles away. The key is infrared cameras, the same kind being... You want to wrestle? Our forces in Iraq you want to wrestle? Here. Put your hand up, everybody. The height of a Here. thousand feet over urban water in D.C., checking government properties such as this water tower. And a blimp there you doesn't go. use much fuel. There's arm wrestle. On a ride over the nation's capital, this 200-foot-long airship and its three-man crew were able to stay aloft for a full 24 hours. Oh. Sue Payton, Deputy Undersecretary at the Department of Defense, believes the surveillance uh. blimp could prove to have vital uses overseas as well. One of the things we're experimenting with is a year, to have a year of an out high-altitude airship loitering over an area and you could monitor Baghdad. In short, insiders believe that when it comes to the blimp's potential Let's see what your mom's doing. terror, the sky is the limit. Along with a long time, the blimp's Let's see what mama's doing. also pretty inexpensive compared to other military hardware. Let's they see cost here. Between two and four million dollars a piece. Next, the buzz is hot about the new show Desperate Housewives. Love it! 
Now, real stay-at-home wives react. But can you guess what they're from Dr. Christine Kruger, University Hospital? Join Chief She's got us turned off. There's no charge, but donations to the Crusade Patrol will be accepted. For reservations, call 582-7711 or go online at whas a, B, C, D, E, F, G, Here you go. Show everybody what you're reading. You're reading the new Kitty Kelly tell-all about the Bush family. To get your opinion for the election. All right. So it's very interesting reading, but you know, a lot of this stuff is just hard to believe that he's that kind of a party animal. Right? Well, I'll get it. Said, it doesn't mean anything. It's just that. You probably wouldn't find our suburban housewife dressed in heels while going after her kids. You ready to get down? Roll. You would find gay during the You ready to get down and start doing some rolling? You can't get no leverage, can you? You think you can get out, don't you? You're definitely entertained by the show. It said her and her friends don't look as glam when they get together for girl talk. I don't know where your mom is. She should be here anytime. Just that way when we have coffee. So housewives are hooked on these desperate women. I'm trying to get out of changing you. But have closets filled with skeletons. Desperate Wives, the TV show, airs Sunday nights on ABC. Last week we talked about the morning show host who had an awfully close call while doing a stunt on her television program. Paul Boyd tells us she's now back at work. I remember being scared and jumping off. That's Debbie McNopolis, host of Fox's Good Day Live, back on the air for the first time after a stunt went terribly wrong and sent her to the hospital. Last week, Debbie was taping a segment on firefighters inspired by the new movie Ladder 49 when she jumped into an airbag and took a jammed into her chair at full force. We were behind the scenes for her first day back at work when she showed us her bruised and painful back. During the show, the Oh, anybody. She's the Colorado Forest Service worker who'd give anything to have disposed of a letter differently. Instead, she found it and started one of the worst forest fires in Colorado history. Now, from behind bars, she's talking for the first time about her crime. Here's Les Trent. It was Colorado's largest wildfire ever. The 17 day long Cayman Fire in June of 2002. What's wrong? And Terry Bart was the first Forest Service worker on the scene. Where's your, your panty at? Here, we take a we take a The blaze started on the so called Red Flag Day, meaning conditions were ripe for disaster. Low humidity, high winds. Towering pines fueled the inferno until it grew to engulf nearly 140,000 acres. Oh, get mad! What do you want? Besides us. Uh, come on. But Terry Barton was no here. Here, come on. Okay, I get you already. 